Hey you guys, how's it going? Welcome to the channel, my name's Jeff. Today I want to talk with you about Aspen Aerogels. Now this is a company I started investing in last year and I just find it fascinating, so I want to share with you what it is about this company, especially in today's era of the electric vehicle, that I think is really worthwhile learning about because you know, it's one of those picks and shovels plays where they're not actually making the electric vehicle, the truck, the car, the van, but they're making something that is super valuable to all of these electric vehicles. And I just think it's valuable to you as an investor, if you are a stock investor, at least to know a little bit more about Aspen Aerogels. So at the start here, I just wanted to say this is not financial advice. And full disclosure, I own shares of this company, so I am probably biased toward it. So do your own due diligence and do all of your own research. Never listen to somebody on YouTube telling you about some stock. Um, what I wanted to share here is I've been doing reading about the different kinds of insulation that Aspen Aerogels makes. And just to give you an idea, this company's basic thing is insulation. They've been around a long time. They've provided insulation to NASA. So when these spacecraft go up into space where it's super cold and they need to keep the passengers from getting cold, they need to insulate the spacecraft, they can use Aspen Aerogel material. It's super lightweight. It's like 75% thinner than most insulations. And it has incredible thermal capacity to keep hot things, warm things warm, cold things cold. So the other thing I wanted to mention about this company, just so you will understand it really well, is that up until about two years ago, 100% of their business was industrial. So they served petrochemical companies. They served liquefied natural gas companies. They served all these companies that are sending, say, gases or liquids through piping, and they need to keep it really cold or they need to keep it warm. And what they need is something that can fit around a tube or around piping and is flexible enough to wrap around a pipe, especially when you have a corner like an elbow, you need to be able to wrap that elbow. So these pyrothin insulation materials they make are very flexible, they're very thin, and they can fit in a lot of spaces that other insulations can't. So that, until recently, was 100% of their customers. And now the business has changed so rapidly that most of their customers now are EV customers. Pyrothin is made by Aspen Aerogels, and this is a cell-to-cell -cell thermal barrier. So one of the key takeaways for Pyrothin is that it mitigates or stops thermal runaway propagation. So what I think this means is if there's a fire in the battery pack, of an EV, it prevents the fire from coming through to the passenger compartment. And the way they put that here is pyrothin advanced thermal barriers have proven that thermal propagation can be stopped at a cell to cell level. So I think what they're doing is you can wrap the individual batteries in a bat, you know, the individual cells. And if a fire were to start in one cell, this prevents the propagation from one battery cell to the next. And then the other thing here listed is that it optimizes battery pack performance. Major OEMs choose pyrothin because pyrothin can perform the mechanical function of a compression pad and the thermal role of a fire barrier. There are a few different kinds of pyrogel. I think that's worth noting. One is called pyrogel HPS. The other is pyrogel XTE. And then another one is XTF, and I think that is a fire protection pyrogel. This is a company that could grow in a kind of picks and shovels way with the rest of the EV industry. Even though they're not an electric vehicle maker, I think they're positioned well enough that they could sell to a variety of different EV makers. And I think this is useful because, you know, some people are thinking, should I invest in Tesla? Should I invest in Rivian? Should I invest in BYD? There are all these car companies, but nobody knows for sure which car companies are gonna be the winners. But we do know that they're all gonna need fire barriers and they will likely need ways to insulate each of the individual cells of the batteries for maximum efficiency 
and to keep warm things from getting too hot and to keep cold from coming in and reducing the battery performance. So I think regardless of who wins in the electric vehicle battle of which cars and trucks are going to be the big sellers, I think we can say for sure that the providers of the parts and the insulation to these cars are probably going to have a pretty steady stream of business going forward. So those are just my opinions on this company and I am really interested to know if you're watching this, if you have researched Aspen Aerogels yourself, maybe you're an investor. Um, I'd like to know what you guys think. So just put a few words in the comment sections like, you know, yes, I invest in Aspen Aerogels or no, I don't or I don't care, <laughs> whatever. Uh, if you are interested though in small company stocks, that is what I focus on in this channel. This year I've been really focused on semiconductor stocks. Even though Aspen is not a semi stock, I just included it in my portfolio because in a lot of ways it relates to companies in the, in the EV space and a lot of the semiconductor stocks that I'm covering like Allegro Microsystems, STM Microelectronics, and On Semiconductor all make chips used in electric vehicles. So I just thought, you know what, Aspen Aerogels kind of relates. So I'm going to buy the stock. So anyways, that's the information I have for you today. This is not financial advice, but I just like to share what I know with you guys. And I'm always interested to hearing from you in the comments. And I do take the time to read your comments and respond. So try me out on that. Try me out, write a comment below and see if I get back to you on it. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed, the best way to get an update when I talk about other small company stocks is just to subscribe and hit the notification bell and then you'll get a heads up whenever I make a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.